Hello, everybody, and welcome. So, as you can see in the beginning, uh, you cannot do motion tracking using Corel Video. So, sorry about that. But you can do it with either Boris Red or Adobe After Effects. Now, for those who've never used Adobe After Effects but have a copy, I will now show you the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> And basically what that means, I'm going to show you a very, very basic way to do motion tracking using Adobe After Effects. All right, so let's get moving. So you've got your Adobe After Effects open. This is your project panel. And now you want to bring in your footage. There's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, left click, panel opens. Right click, import, file. Or just simply drag that footage from your comp your computer straight into uh, Adobe After Effects. It doesn't matter how you do it, it all, it all works out the same. All right, so you got my footage in here, or elements as some people call it. And what I want to do, I want to drag it on this little icon here. Kind of looks like an old fashioned film reel. And all I want to do is click and drag this right on top of that and release. And voila, I've instantly created a new composition. All right, and this is in perfect dimension, 1280 by 720, and so is my composition. And that's it, that's it, that's all, that's all you need to do. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to track my finger, so my finger moves all over the screen. Yeah, so I understand that this is high-quality video um, footage here, and one day I'll teach you how to do that, if you're lucky. All right, so I, I just want to track uh, this finger. I want to have a word above my finger, and wherever my finger moves, I want that word to go with it. And uh, recently I had somebody ask me, I want to put a speech bubble above people, and as they walk around, the speech bubble follows them. And well, my friend, this is how it's done. So while you're into your project panel, sorry, into your composition panel here, go into Layer, New, Text, and I'm just going to create a word Hello, that's your domain. And then I'm just going to grab my move tool, resize it up a bit, and then just move it above my finger. And that's it. So we're done with the text. It can be anything, but we're just going to stick with the text. And now I, wanna, now I need to do is track my finger. So go into your track panel. And if you don't have it open, go Windows. And just it'll be here, track, and just highlight that. Sometimes also the uh, it'll be squashed up and just expand it, so you do see the word reset and apply. Very simple, okay. So highlight your video footage, double click. So now you can do the tracking. All right, so go over here into your track menu and you see track motion or stabilize motion. Click track motion. All right, and now you're gonna. I'm just gonna zoom in and I use my mouse to zoom in. All right, and then you've got three panels, the outer box, the inner box, and a cross. The cross is where it all happens. It's, that's where it tracks. I'm just going to expand that so you can see a little bit better. This is the magic boy right here. So let's just move him around. Now, if you come across, and uh, you may most, most likely get this effect, where it uh, magnifies everything. That, uh, quite frankly, just annoys me. So I... If you go over here in this little panel here, left click and untick magnify feature area. That's basically what I do. All right, so the cross here represents what it's going to track. This is your feature region. This is what it's going to track. And this box here represents your search area. But keep in mind, the larger the search area, the slower the tracking will be. So we just really want to keep the track on the actual fingernail. So let's just zoom in a little bit or just... Grab that fingernail, move it up slightly. Okay. Now, it doesn't really need this space. And I'm going to show you a really little cool shortcut. If you do, uh, or if you do, if you hold down the control key and just grab any node, it just basically moves that. If you don't do it, everything expands in unison, like so. But I don't want to do that. I want to bring that one down a bit. And then just there. Because I basically just want to track the finger. All right, let's zoom back out, just using my mouse wheel. All right, now once you're happy with the track point and everything, you can now proceed. Go back into your track uh, panel, and you'll see here, and it says Analyze Forward. Just press play, and it will now do the tracking for you. Now at any point where you see this thing suddenly just veer off, hold, uh, stop the track, go back, 
couple of keyframes and manually move it up back into position. And then once it's in position, then press Analyze Forward again. All right, so as you can see, it's going rather slow, and I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me uh, try and track out this finger because it's a it's a tutorial tutorial. Good lord, I'm, I'm slurring in my speech. So I'm going to stop it right here, and I'm just going to basically shorten the, the actual. Don't worry about what I'm doing. This is not really important right now, and I'm I'm just doing this for the tutorial. So it gives you uh, easy to look at. All right, so forget what I just done, just concentrate on the tracking. <laughs> now you'll see all these keyframes that popped up and that represents where my finger has gone. Okay, so that's what that means. So all I need to do now is basically get my hello, my text or that layer text and then join it to my track points. And how do I do that? That's very simple. Go back into your track panel Edit targets, and you'll see I only have one option because which is the hello. And yes, apply the track motion to the layer called hello. Press OK, and then once you're happy with everything, press apply. A little window will pop up. Do you want to apply the dimensions to X and Y? Well, yes, because I'm not working in 3D. So OK, and now it tracks. Maybe I should have gone a bit longer than 26 frames. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like I said, the search feature, and I'm using high def uh, video here as well, so the, the tracking or the uh, analyzing is going to be very slow. But if I slow it down, you can definitely see how the word hello follows my finger. Okay, and then once it's all done and finished, you can go back to composition and then you can say make movie or uh, add to render queue uh, this is up here and then you can just export that video out and let's do that because you're probably going yeah dude can you show me <laughs> all right so add to render queue uh, you hold here it calls lossless and basically it tells you what type of format you want to save it at uh, i would probably suggest if you're going to go up to uh, youtube go h.264 and that should do you. Format option, sorry. Video, yes. Multiply, yes. Okay. And where do you want it saved at? Anywhere you wish. Fine, that's here. It's save. It's, it already exists, yes, because I created that before. And now, once you've got uh, everything set up, just hit this little button here called render, and that saves it into a video file. And then you're done. And then you can uh, use that piece and bring it back into Corral Video and then have some fun with it. And as always, thanks for watching.